version of MDM settings on your side. I'd imagine that's like a daily part of your life today. Can you maybe elaborate for me, like what um, what are some of the you know what are some of the tools that you have in place to be able to manage software update? What does that look like? How do you how do you you know what would you like to see out of an MDM today? Yeah, so in our current solution, how we're doing like software updates, OS updates is um, we've used Nudge before, which it looks like what we have here, which is great to see. Um, but we'll send the Nudge prompts basically when it comes close to uh, we'll, when a new OS update comes out, we'll test that. Then we'll push out the Nudge, uh, the Nudge updates that will specify they need to be updated by a certain date and time. Um, there's also MDM uh, configuration profiles that we can leverage. So say you can set things like can't or they can't accept beta installations or other settings like that. And so that's kind of what we're doing right now. Um, but I'd love to see what what you guys can offer. Yeah. So like you mentioned, we have Nudge. Uh, it's the simple Nudge interface that gets rolled up by default and can all be managed via uh, GitHub Actions. Um, the the settings are very straightforward. Obviously, we're collecting the version of software, the operating system that you have installed across your fleet, and you can declare, okay, I want three uh thirteen dot five dot two to be the latest, and I want that to be enforced as of twenty twenty three. Let's say it's like uh, 10.01. And so once you've got that saved, essentially all of your devices will be enforcing those simple nudge settings. So really uh, quite an easy way to manage the, your endpoints and have your users um, up to date to the latest software on the macOS side. So uh, when it gets to operating system settings, there's a couple of really interesting things that we're doing here. Um, now, enforcing disk encryption is probably the biggest checkbox on everybody's list. You want to make sure on the Mac OS side that you know, File Vault 2, two is, is turned on. And, and not only that, but you have um, the encryption token uh, uh, brokered and escrowed on the MDM side. So turning it on is really just a matter of checking a box and then we handle all the nice. profile creation and everything and deployment on our side. Um, you save that and you'll see here that uh, when hosts start to check in, there's a couple of different um, settings. So when you you know, when you, or there's a couple of different statuses. So of course, if it's failed, like what the failure is, um, we trap all of that information. Uh, verifying, so for example, you know, when MDM sends down a command to install a configuration profile, uh, we know the command is sent, of course, but, and then when the command comes back, we know that, you know, it's acknowledged, but there could be something, you know, happening on the endpoint at that time that, you know, gives you as an MDM the maybe false sense of security that the profile is there, but maybe it hasn't fully taken effect yet. And a good example of this really is disk encryption because you could install a file vault two profile, have it land, have it install, and the disk might not be encrypted, might not be encrypted for quite some time actually until either the device is rebooted or that disk encryption is actually enforced by the end user. So that's what this verified means. So this verified status is essentially OS query, making a check to make sure that that profile is actually there. So on each individual host, you can go back to the host and you can see, okay, what's the status of that host? And uh, this particular device does not have MDM turned on. Uh, let me check one that does, uh, not that one, but this one, yeah. So I can see here that my devices are enrolled in MDM, and this is the MDM demo server. And if I take a look at the host itself, you can see that there's probably some settings and it's verified. This particular host only has one profile installed, but if you wanted to deploy multiple MDM profiles, multiple settings, then it would show up here as well as an overall um, understanding of what all of your OS settings are in this custom settings uh, side of things. So uploading config profiles that you create an amazing profile editor or whichever profile editor you choose. And then we would still verify the fact that those settings are in place. Yeah, no, that looks great. Uh, we use the iAmazing Profile uh, Editor here, so it's just very easy to use. And the fact that I can just upload those directly, that's that's great to see. Cool. 
Cool. The last bit is really about uh, configurations on uh, the setup experience side of things. So we fully support if you wanted to deploy um, a bootstrap package, you know, if that package is configuring, you know, whether it's Eric Gomez's install applications package or really any other package that you'd want to get, up, get set up during or get installed during the setup assistant, that's fully supported here, not only in the UI, but also via fleet control, as well as being able to get the end user information from an IDP. Uh, if very useful for setting up your first local user account. And that's fully supported. Any SAML based, SAML2 based uh, IDPs um, is supported here. So now with that being said, like we just kind of like took a whirlwind tour, tour over some of the software vulnerability management set of things, as well as the MDM config profile set of things. Now you mentioned one of the biggest challenges for you is that merge between IT and security. Now on the security side, um, what's the biggest challenge for you? On the security side, it's really just getting the data that they need. Yeah. Um, so we need to ensure that they get uh, get the data from the devices that'll help them do what they have to do, right? And so most of the time what we're doing is we're having to custom write things uh, on our side. We have our MDM pull the information and then we have to provide that information to the security team. Um, so if we had something that could just get the information directly and pipe that over to their system, that would be amazing. Yeah.